Hello, everybody, and welcome. I am Local Lynx, and we are here for more Alien Isolation. Now, we left off in the last episode in the security office. Uh, we're trying to get to the... We have to search the operating theater for a trauma kit for Taylor. And I want to access that computer right there. We actually haven't seen the alien down on the ground for a while, so... Might be okay. He's close. Every time he's really close, like, um... Uh, Amanda starts breathing heavily. I think whenever... Whenever he's within about maybe 10 feet, he, uh, Amanda starts breathing heavily. I don't know if there's any vents in here. We actually did make it to the save point, though, which is good. Yeah, access terminal, Sevasto Link. I'm going to try and read this very fast. Colonial Marshal Directive. Dr. Morley, I don't care what you think you need to do. I want you out of San Cristobal now. You know what we've set up in there, and I'm truly sorry for what it means for the patients who can't be moved, but this is the only way. There will be no further warnings. Marshall waits. And I will scroll down to Morley update and codes. Morley, I need you out of medical. We've set up shop and habitation tower. People are fighting over supplies. We've got more injuries coming in than we have the meds to deal with them and my team is depleted to say the least. I don't know how you'll break the lockdown, but if you need to access San Cristobal's central wards, the code is 2505 Lingard. Alright. San Cristobal Medical has been locked down by the Colonial Marshals until further notice. Sevastopol's medical team are setting up field hospitals throughout Sevastopol to deal with the ongoing crisis. Locations to follow. Marshall waits. Error. Uh, I.O. error. Audio. All now, I wonder if I play the audio, would the alien come? That's the only thing. I'm trying to listen to see if he's on the floor. Dr. Lingard, this is Ransom. Remember me, your friendly Sikhsen chief executive? Lingard, you don't drop by, you don't call, aren't we pals anymore? Oh well, we're both busy people and after all, I have lots of other friends. Some of them have badges. One of them told me you called Marshall Waits about a, shall we say, interesting find? I want in. No arguments. After all, how much does Waits really know about you, not as much as your old friend here, and I bet he wouldn't be understanding about black market med supplies. I look forward to your call, Doc. Gas exchange, normal, functional, routine inspection due. Okay. Let's get back in here for a moment. Um, I'm going to actually shut off my Steam notifications. One moment. Okay, and we're back. I just wanted to turn off the steam overlay because it is a little distracting when I'm trying to get immersed. Um, okay, so we got a code. I'm not really sure what it's for. Maybe that door over there? There's a door in the other office that looked like it needed a hacking tool or a code, maybe.
Now, I do see a vent right there, which is a little disconcerting. But we haven't seen the alien for a bit, so maybe we'll be okay. For now. Find keycard to access San Cristobal medical wards. Are you kidding? Keycard? Really? Then what's the what's the code for? Okay, keycard. Keycard, keycard, keycard. Oh, there's supplies here. I do want those. Um Plenty of places to hide. Just sort of looking for vents. There's a vent in that. Oh, sh shit! Oh my god, he's down. I don't know where he is. Oh. Oh, is there a key card on that desk, maybe? I didn't see one. Oh yeah, here he comes. Oh yeah, there he is. He's right in that other room we were just in. Oh. Checking the place out. Oh! Oh, there... He can come... There is a vent in there. I, uh, there's a vent in there and a vent in this room that he can come. Oh! Oh, blue. That surprised me quite a bit. Don't move. Oh, I don't know if moving, um, in this locker like this, like looking around. I'm not sure if that makes any noise or makes him detect me more, but I really don't know. That sort of surprised me that he went up the vent in the other room and then came out of the one in this room. If I had jumped the gun and come out of that locker, I would have been toast. Oh, man. Oh! Man. He sure is being thorough in this- in these rooms. We're just gonna wait until we're sure that he's gone away. And then we'll- we'll check the desk for the keycard. Oh yeah. That was kind of strange how he wasn't, he wasn't out at all for a long time, actually. And then now all of a sudden, he decides to come skulking around. Okay. He's not moving. There's nothing on the tracker. Doesn't mean much though. Tracker's all well and dandy, but it makes noise and uh, he moves very fast to be able to depend on the tracker, really. I, I've been more, more often, I've been, I've been listening for little auditory cues actually like him stomping around more than I'm using the tracker like if I hear him I better find a place to hide immediately all right I'm gonna 
check the desk. Very quick. Oh! Molotov version 1. What's this? Scrap. Um. Okay, so. Oh. No key card on the desk. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, yeah. See what? You see what I mean? He, like, I I didn't hear him on the tracker at all, and I immediately got in this locker when he when I heard it. But he was down at two seconds after I got out in, in this locker. It's very fast. Very, very fast. Okay, and he's not moving again. Oh, no, now he is. He's just off the scanner. Hmm. Oh, here he comes. Oh. Back in the vent. San Cristobal Medical Facility recommends seek some medical assurance. Relief when you're far from home. We'll just wait for a moment. Because he's not moving, but if I go under that vent while he's. if he's right there and just not moving, he'll snatch me. Okay. I still don't know where that key card is. Um At least we got a save point right here. Okay. Alright. That vent makes me very nervous. Okay, uh, key card. Oh! There's a keypad right here. What was it, 2505? Oh. Oh. Uh. I don't know where he was, but I heard him. Yeah, right over me. I don't want to be... I don't want to be stuck screwing around with the keypads while he's coming down out of that vent. So now we know, anyhow, that any vent on the ceiling or on the walls, he can go through. Or come out of. I thought maybe some, some vents he could come out of, because he didn't seem to... There's certain ceiling vents he doesn't seem to come out of very often. Or at least that I s view him coming out of. Oh, go away. All 
Alright, we know where the key card is anyways. We gotta get through that door. But I don't know what's in that door. Obviously the, the theater, I guess. But, I mean, is it like an actual theater? That's kind of interesting. A medical facility with an adjoining theater. Alright. You know, I don't hear him. Oh, now I do. He's just loitering around in those vents right above me. Twenty-five oh five. Twenty-five oh five. Twenty-five oh five. All right. Come on, come on, come on. I hate how it makes you wait. I'm on my way. Where is he? I really don't know. Synthetic nurses operated this facility. If you'd rather be attended by a human, please ask. Alright. He's a bit closer than I'd like. I really don't know if there's any hiding spots straight through that door. Or what's gonna happen. If he comes down and I go through there, I'm going to be going blind. I don't know what's in there. I don't know where the vents are. I don't know where anything is in there. Um, he can come right down through the ceiling, too. That's That makes me not feel very secure if there is such a thing. All right. Um... I'm also wondering if if I make a lot of noise. I mean, I obviously I make noise when I come in and out of these lockers, but can he hear that? Like if he's in the vent and he hears me coming out of a locker or going in, does he hear it? It's possible. All right. We're going for it. I turn that off. That steam overlay, I turned it off. Oh. Um. Oh, we're gonna. It's got hell in here, Samuels. We're gonna die, we're gonna die, we're gonna huh? die. Oh! oh! What the hell? Oh! Oh my god! Oh! 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 <laughs> oh, thank you. I didn't even see that human there. Oh, God. Now, the moral of this story is never, ever, ever shoot a gun. Ever. <laughs> oh, God. Are you going to go away? Are you going to go away? Please? Pretty please? Um... Uh, okay. This is a little peculiar. Come on, go away. Um. <laughs> is he, like, bugged out or something? Oh, man. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Oh, 
That was kind of that was cool. He took that guy's head right off. Ugh. Come on, go away. Oh, come on. Oh, there's other people in here. Are you kidding me? Come on, go kill those other people! <laughs> Come on! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> wow! Saved by some other poor saps. I mean, really, how did that guy think that was going to end for him? Oh, okay. Oh, I think we stirred up the hornet's nest in here. Oh, that was so cool, though. Oh, I just panicked. I think if that human wasn't there, that the alien would have got us, because I ran. I panicked and I ran. Man, let's take a look at the map real quick. All right, so um, I'm guessing there's multiple entrances to the to the theater, operating theater. Oh, you know what that is? It's not like a theater. It's um, I think it's where people get operated on, and you you like watch or observe them. I. Maybe. I'm guessing because this is the medical ward. Uh, why don't they just say operating room? I don't know. Okay, so I think we go down, we come out of this locker, go to the right, and then take a left. And there's a doorway right there. Doorway right there. And that will lead us into there. We could also go left, uh, unless those doors are obstructed in some way. There is a room, a little square room over there that I'm kind of interested in. And it's been on there since we got on this floor. It's been on my map, unlocked. I'm kind of interested to see what that is, but I don't know. For right now, we're going to try to avoid humans, or at least make it so that they get eaten by the alien. That was totally badass. Oh! <laughs> oh! No! Oh! Oh, come on! Come on! Where'd he come from? Okay, that was not so badass. All right. Um code uh, code Dr. Morley code. Son of a bitch. Okay, we're gonna try going the other way this time. It's got hell in here, Sam. Ho ho. Um. Oh crap. I think this was a bad idea. Oh. 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 Oh, that was a rush. That was a rush. Okay, we didn't alert the humans this time.
and I think we're a bit closer to our objective, actually. Yeah, it's sort of like in the next room. Uh, yeah, I have to go. I have to go back out. I have to. Whenever I come out of this locker, I gotta go right, or I have to go left out of the locker, and then go left again, and then go right, right. Left, left. No, it's three lefts. Okay. I just failed at reading the map. Um, okay. How many contacts do we have? Do we have just the one? I mean, where did all those humans come from the last time? Oh, okay, so we got multiple contacts over there. So the humans are still here. I wonder if they'll come in here, I don't know. If they fire their guns at me, they're gonna be dead in like a second. Oh! Oh my god. I didn't even hear him! Until like, the last second. He's getting very sneaky. He is getting sneaky. Yeah, he was in the room. I didn't even hear him come stomping up, really. Um, I, I had the feeling maybe he could have been bugged the last time because he did stand there an awful long time like he detected us, but he was sort of like, he wasn't moving. And then I didn't even hear him, and as soon as I peeked out the slats of the, the locker, he, he was on me, like he knew immediately where I was. I mean, maybe he was on a high alert or something and he was going by but oh man how do you get it how do you get that way i thought he was to the left i could have sworn i heard him to the left he's getting very sneaky maybe it's cuz there's all these other people Oh, don't come over here. Come on. I don't I hate how he clips through the door. He didn't even come up to inspect us. He just sort of like clipped through the doorway. <laughs> and then went away. This is very He's behaving a very differently than I'm used to. I'm almost, I'm afraid to lean forward to peek because <laughs> I'm afraid that he's going to rip the door off again. It, it was like he went away and then he was like, he was waiting for us to, oh, oh, there's another, there's a person out there. What a bunch of idiots. Don't they know that there's a giant killing machine on the loose? Oh, you're dead. You're dead. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're going to die. Oh, yeah, they have guns. I was going to say... I was gonna say I I I don't even know if they're hostile. I'm kind of being a, a <laughs> bit of a maniac, but they have guns. They would shoot me. Oh! Oh! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, that's so cool. Oh yeah! You're dead. You're dead. They're sort of like bandits. I mean, they're not really, I mean, I say bandits, but they're they are normal people that are just turned into maniacs because they're trying to survive on this station with, 
with other people that have guns and this uh, killing machine alien. They're just driven to desperation. So they would literally shoot anybody. Oh god. Did he just detect me moving? Um... Oh! He just... I just... heard somebody come onto the radar. There's another human out there. And I think he heard it too. I think the alien also detected the person running around. Oh! That is really loud. Him going in that vent was really super loud. This is just... This is a bad situation right here. That... Those foolish people got... The alien completely stirred up. <laughs> 